name is Gabriel Opoku Asari, head of society for Diageo in Africa. I'm Ghanaian, um, born in Kumasi, um, schooled, went to Cambridge International School, went to Opokura Secondary School, and that we call OWAS, and I went to KNUSD. After KNUSD, um, left for UK, worked in UK, various fields in the UK, came back to Ghana, actually started working in an IT company in Ghana called KNET. So in KNET, my role was customer relations and project management, but we had a lot of government clients. And with that, it helped build my expertise around government engagements and government relations. And I left KNET and took a jump to join um, the group called Moinani Group, which is probably the biggest plastic manufacturing firm in Ghana. And it's quite a big group. They own KFC, um, Atlantis Hotel in Takrady and a number of companies as well. So it's actually going to join as the head of customer relations for the group. Then the opportunity came up as, um, do you want to join our, do you want to lead our corporate relations team based on your experience in the past? And I said, yeah, why not? So I took up the role as a group corporate affairs manager. And in that role, my job was to manage government relations, manage our sustainability, and manage internal communication. So we did some work around the Moinani Foundation. And after working for them for a couple of years, left Moinani and um, joined Unilever. Unilever was a great place to learn a lot um, when it comes to the corporate world and what you do around sustainability, communications, and employee engagement. So Unilever, I spent two years in Unilever leading the Ghana team. We delivered some great, um, I would say, projects in Unilever, um, helped the business to elevate its image and all of that in Ghana. And Guinness came knocking, that is Diageo, subsidiary in Ghana is Guinness Ghana, came knocking, and the role was Corporate Relations Director for Ghana. So it was a great role, so I said, um, why not join Guinness Ghana? And I joined Guinness Ghana, which was a little different from Unilever, though they are both FMCGs joined Guinness Ghana as the Corporate Relations Director and in my role was leading communications, sustainability and also um, public policy. Um, as you know, our sector is, um, is very heavy on public policy, unlike other corporate relations roles. So it involves a lot of government relations, it involves a lot of sustainability and also even employee engagement as well. In three years in the role as Corporate Relations Director of Ghana, like I said, we deliver some great um, work. And some have been seen as one of the best across um, Diageo globally and also in Africa as well. That led me into my new role as head of society for Diageo in Africa. It really tells what a great company Diageo is and the opportunities that you can find as an employee in Diageo and that we are very much focused on the growth plan for every employee. So it's all about achievements, it's all about delivering in the role that you're in. And based on that, if the next opportunity becomes available, you can get into that role. So it is not really about tenure. I think we are changing the narrative around being in the role for 40 years, 20 years, 30, 15 years before you move into the next role, but really around the delivery of um, the work that you're doing and how you can impact the next available role. I think we did some good job in Ghana. Um, one of the great things we did in Ghana was to help bring together a coalition we called Ghana Recycling HHC by Private Enterprises, Gripe, and really to find a solution around dealing with plastic waste in Ghana. It's our flagship program that we are rolling out across Africa, and I'm leading that project across Africa as well in my new role. I think one of the biggest enablers of uh, our sustainability and responsibility agenda is through uh, partnerships, right? Um, because most of the problems we face across Africa, my point is they are not complex, um, but they are just quite a lot of problems. And a lot of them require skill and requires partnerships, so we can't do it ourselves. We look towards corporate partnerships, we look towards partnering with civil society, we look towards partnering with government especially in order to change um, 
certain situations in Africa or dealing with certain problems in Africa. You need a cooperation of government, you need government policy around it in order to make that work. So we are working towards partnerships and I think you've seen that recently in Kigali we came together to form what we call the Africa Plastic Recycling Alliance where Diageo, Unilever, Nestle and Coca-Cola came together to agree that show our commitment towards dealing with plastic waste across Africa. And basically in every market that we have approaching a mutual interest. We will collaborate to um, form a coalition, find so solutions that are local based because we believe that problems, especially with plastics across Africa, for each country is quite different. So you can't pick a, pro um, a solution in Ghana and just establish in Nigeria. It could work, but we need to find, form local coalitions to ensure that we are finding solutions for these issues. For us, um, it, it aligns with our mission and our ambition, right? Our ambition is, uh, is to be the best performing, so be profitable business in Africa within the uh, beverage sector and also within FMCG, and that's the best business across Africa, but the most respected and trusted business as well. And respect and trust doesn't just come, it's end, right? So how we run our business ethically, how we comply with local standards ethically is, is absolutely important to us as a business. And the work we do in community is important, and for us we believe in shared value. And Shared Value is a program that we are running should benefit us, make us profitable commercially and also should make the communities profitable. So through the programs we run, we should be able to create jobs, improve livelihoods across Africa. Also for the environment, we are ensuring that we are not just taking from the environment, but rather we are maintaining the sustainability of the ecosystem and climate change in the countries that we operate. I think we're doing quite some uh, good work over the years. It's been more than 20 years um, if you look at water, right? We've, we've, we've done quite a lot. We've provided water to over 10 million people in Africa. In Ghana, as an example, we've reached around 700,000 people with water. We've um, built around 70 water, we call it water of life stations across Ghana. If you go to countries like Kenya, we are investing in afforestation projects where even if we go out with our employees to plant trees around river bodies, we do the same across almost all our markets in Africa as well. So we believe that water sustainability is critical for every market that we operate. If you look at local raw material, we are sourcing locally, right? And it involves a lot of work in sourcing locally. And with that, we are ensuring the sustainability of agriculture in markets that we operate. We are creating jobs in agriculture. People are getting employed. We did a study a couple of years ago and realized that we are working with 25,000 farmers in Ghana, um, supporting the lives of around 175,000 people in Ghana. And that is, that is a massive achievement. I think we are partner to the community, right? Um, we want to see their lives being improved, not just us buying from them, but how we are supporting the farmers, even with seedlings. We are supporting them with seedlings and to ensure that they, their use are improved, right? So the farmers, the farmer, if you take one farmer, his life should improve by working with Biagi because he can expand his farm knowing that we will buy from him and the crops will not be wasted, right? So we want to see improvement in livelihoods for the farming communities. It's not just even um, with the farming itself. What we do is we organize training for women in these communities. So women empowerment, financial inclusion is all critical for these communities as well. So we want to see a shift in terms of livelihoods. We want to see a shift in terms of women empowerment and gender equality in these communities as well. And it all aligns to the SDGs, right? Absolutely. I think um, I'm a testament to um, the fact that Deja has great plans for its employees. And if you think you've also probably seen the videos I've been showing recently on LinkedIn and all of that, talking about a lot of employees and how their career has moved since joining Deja. It's a great place to work as a young person. Um, you go through a lot of training. If you put yourself to it, you can achieve. And Deja has great plans. It's a big multinational organization, apart from roles in Ghana. 
just like me, you can get into a role in Africa, you can get into a global role. I had somebody in my team managing sustainability. He's now working in a global team, in the global sustainability team. So DIG has great ambitions for young people. And if you're a young guy out there, I'll say join us and um, you never regret it. When I wake up in the morning, um, I go to the gym, I run. Um, and the gym or, yeah, do run, lift weights. I usually listen to the radio before getting to work. Getting to work, first thing is I always have a to-do list and I look through that before I start anything. Look at what I need to deliver for the day. I'm a sucker for planning, so I plan everything from end to end. So before I wake up in the morning, I actually have a view of what I'm gonna do throughout the day and I follow that list. Don't put yourself in a box. I have this theme called um, FAB. FAB means focus, aware, balance, right? The F in the FAB means if you put yourself to something, give it 100%, give it 150%. If you're asked to do a certain job, don't look at it as, oh, I just want to make money out of it. Focus on performance and achieving in the role and going beyond. So it's not your job description and the KPIs that you've been set, but look at things that you can do that makes you go beyond that. And I think it also makes your life exciting because if you come to work every day and you're doing the same thing, just taking the box, it's not that exciting. But if you're doing new things, even in the same role, but you're always doing new things, it makes life exciting. And it also makes you stand out as a performer in the role that you're in. Awareness is really being aware of the role that you're in and how it's evolving over time. You can stay in corporate relations, and I use my role as an example, and just focus on communication and media relations and all of that. But you should realize that in order to move in corporate relations, you need to understand public policy, you need to understand sustainability, because you're going to go out there and speak on behalf of the company. You need to be very clear on what the company is doing in the community. It's not just communications. You need to be aware of what the external environment looks like, what government policy is in there. So that awareness is critical. You also should be able to tell five years from now, is my role even going to exist in the corporate world? It may not exist. So you also need to be aware of how your current role is evolving and how you move on into the next role. I've been in roles where I've picked up work that naturally will not, anybody in the role will not focus on because they think it's extra work. But really, those type of jobs really gives you leverage with regards to senior leaders. They see you as valuable to the business. For example, if you're in corporate relations and you're supporting the finance, the finance team to mitigate, um, to manage tax, to manage government relations, to manage regulators and all of that, you become a valuable member of the business rather than just sitting there and writing press releases and always looking like, oh, you're just looking nice and exciting and <laughs> coming to work and polishing your face, but rather you're contributing to the bottom line. You know, I think it's important to, to be aware. The third piece, that is the B, is balance. I believe that you need to have time for yourself. If you go to my Instagram page, I'm a kind of a different person on Instagram. <laughs> uh, I love pictures, I love life, I love traveling. You should have a life outside of the corporate world because that, that, that reduces the stress that you deal with every day and it gives you purpose as well. So you should have your own life purpose, your family, your kids, something that you are passionate about. And I think that is important because only focusing on work 120% and not having anything outside of work is detrimental, right? So you need balance as well. You need to be aware and you need to be focused. And that's my life mantra.